بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم لیٹس ٹیک اے اسٹارٹ ود ا ریڈنگ ٹیسٹ دس ریڈنگ ٹیسٹ از فرام کیمبرج آئلس بک نمبر 10 ٹیسٹ نمبر 1 سو یو کین رائٹ آن یور ہینڈ آؤٹ بک نمبر 10 ٹیسٹ نمبر 1 ول سالو دس ٹیسٹ انیشلی اٹس گوئنگ ٹو بی ایزی وین اٹ از ایزی یو سی زندگی ایک سفر ہے سہانا اینڈ دین وین وی ریچ پارٹ ٹو دین وی ریچ پارٹ تھری مار ڈالا So you have such type of feelings, right? But don't worry, control your emotions, control your feelings and all that. Yeah, move seedha rakhna hai. Mujhe move bana bana, wo abhi nahi aayi, move bana ke. Nahi, wo kidhar hai? Abhi nahi aayi hai na? Jo move bana ke dikhati hai, question mushkil ho na? Mujhe aise dekhti hai, mein abhi confused ho jata hu. Ki yaar, ye kya ho raha hai? Okay? Now, listen. Whenever you start with any passage, the first thing is you read the title. If there is a subtitle, you read subtitle. Step wells. Now you understand well. Well is kuwa. Step well. Step well. Like you know, in Pakistan even we have hidden minar. If you've been there, are the step wells. Like step by step they go down. In Pakistan we have step wells. Now let's read the subtitle. A millennium ago, step wells were fundamental to life in the driest part of India. So we understand step well is a kind of well. and they were fundamental to the driest part of india richard cox traveled to northwestern india to document these spectacular monuments these spectacular mon- monuments what does it mean Sharp. now yeah. these spectacular Sharp. monuments Sharp. mean step wells Sharp. right now this is a very good example of uh, referencing step wells these step uh, spectacular monuments from a bygone era understand now we know topic is and you will do it quickly like this after that you will take a quick look at the questions now please come to questions 1 to 5 true false not given 6 to 8 short answer questions 9 to 13 sentence completion okay and luckily all these are type a questions I have classified IELTS reading questions into two types. Type A, where questions and answers are in order. In order means once you find one answer, you just go on. You will find second answer, third answer, fourth answer. And type two is where questions and answers are not in order. So whenever you do type A questions, after finding one answer, look, read on, and you will find the other answers. Okay. now another point uh, how to read the question basically time management the other day yesterday somebody was asking me time management uh, first in order to manage your time you have to see time wasters like he was telling me when i get stuck with a question that that wastes all my time if you're stuck with a question leave it it's just one question at the end either you can guess right or just leave that question no problem but that one question will drain all energies from you and then you will not be able to do the other ones so once i was doing i told you before i was doing true false not given for for the class i was preparing i couldn't find the answer of question number 3 and uh, i looked here and there i couldn't find it question number 2 i found the answer then i did question number 4 i found the answer then i came between 2 and 4 and there i found the answer So sometimes you can leave a question for the time being and come back to it. And for part one, there are mainly type A questions. So try to do them as early as possible. Now, let's read the question. True, false, not given. Very simple. You will have to divide the question statement into three parts. If this is the case, for example, I am going to London. If I am going to London, it's true. If I am going to Paris, it's false. and if i don't tell where i'm going then it is not given okay so just simple but i'll explain that question number 1 examples of ancient step wells underline ancient step wells can be found all over the world now look here whenever they use anything like that examples of ancient step wells can be found all over the world we will go back we will start reading from the first paragraph just wait just wait just wait just wait you need to understand it first now if they say such type of step wells are found in many different countries of the world answer is true if they say these step wells are unique to this region what does that mean 
all over the world and opposite is unique to this region. And if they don't tell us whether they are unique or they are found all over the world, answer is not given. Okay, the first four or five questions start searching for your answer from first paragraph. Questions one to five, start searching answers and usually you will find the answer in first or maximum second paragraph. Now all of you please come to first paragraph. Look for the word region. Okay, second paragraph, first line. Unique to this region, step wells are often architecturally complex. Unique to this region. False. Why? Because they say these step wells are unique to this region. Now, unique and all over the world, they are opposite. Do you understand? Everyone? You should be crystal clear about it. This is the beginning. If you don't understand here, when we reach part two, part three, you will just, you would like to jump into the canal, huh? Okay, so all over the world and unique to this region, these are opposite words. Question number two. Step wells had a range of functions. Look here, look here, look here. Whenever they use the word range of functions, so range of functions means they will talk about they were used for water, they were used for this purpose, they were also used for wedding purposes, they were used for chat and all that. So this is what we call step wells had a range of functions in addition to those related to water collection. One was water collection. If they say like in the evening people used to come there for a chat. Right, some people had their marriage ceremonies over there. Some, so range of functions. One function is water collection, understood. Now, please come back. Same paragraph, I'm reading from third line. During their heydays, heyday means high days. During their heydays, they, what do they mean by they? Step wells. No, you should understand this thing. Referencing is very common. If you don't know what is the meaning of they, you will never be able to find the answer. So they, this, such, them, you should know where does it go. So during their heydays, their means step well. During their heydays, they were places, means step well were places. Now please look, places of gathering, purpose number one, of leisure, purpose number Two, and relaxation, purpose number three, and of worship, purpose number four, for villagers of all but the lowest classes. So, range of functions, and they told us place of worship and relaxation and chat and all that. What's the question? Step wheels had a range of functions. So, whenever they use the word range of something, you will look at that. Now, they will not talk about function, they will not talk about range, but they will describe those functions. If I say, this mobile phone has a range of uses. Now, internet, Wi-Fi, YouTube, what are they? Range of uses, okay? Range of purpose, range of functions. All clear? The answer is true. Question number three. Few existing step wells in Delhi. Now, Delhi is your clue word. Few existing step wells in Delhi are more attractive than those found elsewhere. Look here, look here. In true, false, not given, there is a kind of a sentence or question, we call it comparative one. Whenever they give you any comparative question, you have to see. If comparison is given, answer is, if a comparison is given and comparison is same, answer is true. If comparison is given, but it is opposite, for example, if I say A is bigger than B, and in the passage they say B is bigger than A. Comparison is given, but comparison is opposite, then it is false. And if they do not compare, they don't give any comparison, then it is not given. So the question is, few existing step wells in Delhi are more attractive than those found elsewhere. Now please look for the word Delhi. Second paragraph and fourth line. So whenever you find the word, make it a habit to read that sentence from the last full stop. Okay, so I'm going to read it from the last full stop. Uh, most step wells are found dotted around the desert areas of Gujarat, where they are called Vav, and Rajasthan, where they are called Bauri, while a few also survive in Delhi. Now let's read the next sentence. 
Some were located in or near villages as public spaces for the community. Did they compare? Did they give any comparison that the step wells found in Delhi are more attractive than elsewhere? So the answer is clear. Okay, yeah. Answer is not given. Okay, now let's go on. Question number five. Number of steps above the water level, four. Okay, it took workers many years to build the stone steps characteristics of step wells. Now listen, the clue word is stone steps characteristics. And what do they say about it? It took workers many years. Now listen, if it took workers many years to build stone steps characteristics, answer is true. If they built it immediately or they built it in less time, it took them short time, then answer is and if they don't mention the time, whether it took workers many years or few years, answer will be? Remember one thing, in true, false, not given, there is always sometimes a word. Sometimes a word, sometimes a group of words, which will decide the answer, whether it is true, false, or not given. Now, can you see here, many years. What is the opposite of many years? Few years. So if they don't tell us the timeline, many years, answer is true. Few years, answer is false. And if they don't tell us many or few, then answer is not given. So let's go back. It's third paragraph. As their name suggests, found it? Please follow me. As their name suggests, step wells comprise a series of stone steps. Now we are there. Series of stone steps descending from ground level to the water source, normally an underground aquifer, as it records following the rains, as it recedes following the rain, and then they don't say anything further about it. Now, did they mention anything that it took short time or long time stone steps characteristics? No, stone steps is given, but they did not mention whether it took many years or it took few years. That is why the answer is not given. Okay, listen, in true, false, not given, questions and answers are mostly in order. Now, there are two types of orders they are. Order number one, you will find them in one paragraph or two paragraphs. Order number two, one answer in one paragraph, second answer in second paragraph, third answer in last paragraph. That is also possible. But once you find the relevant information, that's okay. Yes, sometimes this happens that they might uh, express about that in some other part of the passage as well. Okay, now let's go on. Question number five. The number of steps above the water level in a step well altered during the course of years. Look here. Number of steps altered. What is the other word for altered? Changed. Number of steps. For example, first there used to be 50 steps. After some years, they made 40 steps or they made 80 steps. So the number of steps, now you're going to look for number of steps above the water level, they altered in the course of time. One, two, three, third paragraph, right side column. Found it? The first on top, title page, right side column, I'm going to read it, when the water level was high. Found it? Okay, when the water level was high, the user needed only to descend a few steps to reach it. When it was low, several levels would have to be negotiated. So when the water was high, few steps. I mean, when the water level was high, you had to go down one to two steps. When it was low, you had to go down more. Now, please come back. Number of steps above water level in a step well altered during the course of a year. Now, please come back. For course of a year, what is the word for that? When the water level was high, the user needed only to descend a few steps to reach it. When it was low, several levels would have to be negotiated. So course of year, it can be like during the rainy season, more water, they had to do it from up there. If there was no rainy season, dry season, they had to go down. So number of steps above water level in a step well altered. Is this right? Answer is true. Means number of steps changed. For example, rainy season, from second step, you could get water. 
and dry season you had to go down 10 steps 12 steps and all that all clear yes. now please listen whenever you are going to practice true false not given for the first answer you will have to scan you will have to find the first answer after that you will find the answers in the sequence number two whenever you're doing true false not given you have to find a word or a phrase which is going to decide whether the answer is true false or not given and then you're going to match it with that and there you will find the answer it's easier said than done it might take some time to master this skill but gradually you'll be able to overcome that okay thank you all right guys let's go on IELTS reading part one book number 10 test number one questions six to eight short answer questions whenever we have short answer questions even there questions and answers are in order short answer question you have to answer in one word two words or maximum three words okay now let's see answer the questions below choose one word only again for first answer you will have to read the question and find the clue word once you find the clue word you can go on, scan the passage, and there you can read the clue word and then the details. So, which part, now please be with me, which part of some step wells, look here, step wells contained several parts, right? For example, say this is the, uh, like, water reservoir, this part is for this purpose, this part is for this purpose, and all that. So, they say, which part of some step wells provided shade for people, look here. For shade, they might use the word shadow, shelter, and all that. So a part of step well provided shade to the people. Let's go back. Part of step well. Can you please come to title page, second last paragraph? See, they are talking about it. Some, some, some wells are vast, open craters. So it means now they are telling us the geography or, of step wells. So geographically how they were. Okay. So some wells are vast, open craters and all that. Please come to third line. Others are more elaborate, uh, elaborate with long stepped passages leading to the water via several stories. Built from the stone and supported by pillars okay they they means step wells very good step wells also included pavilions that sheltered visitors pavilions that sheltered visitors now sheltered means shade sheltered means shade so which part is that okay so step wells included pavilions now can you see the word pavilions is written in plural so whenever you do anything in IELTS reading, copy paste it as it is. Don't try to temper instead of pavilions, you write pavilion or any other word. Just write the word from here, pavilions. Pavilions, plural. Because it's the part of step well. Like in, you know, cricket stadium, they say back to pavilion. It's there. Okay, question number seven. What type of serious climatic event look here whenever they talk about climatic event it can be flood it can be tornado it can be earth earthquake can be because of climate change and all that okay so what kind of serious climatic event which took place in southern rajasthan look for the word southern rajasthan and a climatic event and don't tell me the answer when i ask you then tell me southern rajasthan second page Second page, first two, three lines. Okay, Southern Rajasthan suffered an eight year drought. Now, if you don't know what drought is, you cannot find the answer. It's just dryness, a dry spell when it doesn't rain for many years. So, climatic event, drought. Now, can you see that how they are rewording? They use the word climatic event, and for climatic event, they use the word here drought. Okay, answer is drought. Now, please come to question number eight. Who? Who means people? Who? Who are frequent visitors to step wells 
nowadays. Now, nowadays, usually they talk about these type of things at the end. Today, find a paragraph where they say today. And usually these paragraphs are last ones. Is it? Okay. So please come to last paragraph. Today, following years of neglect, many of, now let's go on to third line, fourth line, Survey of India, which has recognized the importance of uh, preserving them as part of the country's rich history. Tourists flock to wells in far-flung corners of northwestern India. Tourists flock. So, what's the question? Yeah, who are frequent visitors to step wells? Now, what is it that they used for frequent visitors? They said tourists flock to wells in far-flung corners of northwest India to gaze in wonder at these architectural marvels. So the answer is tourists. And they have written plural, copy-paste it as it is. Don't change it at all. Tourists will be the right answer. Clear? All right. So far, so good. You have to be active and alert. And answer jahan jahan pe mil raha hai, tourist bataya hai, usko underline kar lein, question ka number lik lein, abhi nahi samaj aaya, ghar ja ke samaj aayega. Thik hai? Yeh bataya tha na, ek dost ko mene Latifah sunaya, woh nahi hasa. Agle din mujhe mila itna hasa, itna hasa, mene ka kya pagal ho gaya, kya hua hai? Kehta ho Latifah aaj samaj aaya hai. Yeh? I found the answer, but you were saying that the question, the answer is in the order. Yeh? ऑर्डर में तो है ना ऑर्डर में तो है ना हाँ नेक्स्ट वैसे मैं उनसे रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि इकट्ठे किया करें ये ऐसे ही हो ऑर्डर में होगा ऑर्डर का ये मतलब हरगिज नहीं है कि कहाँ पे होगा ठीक है चलें जी ओके गाइस नाउ प्लीज बी क्वाइट ईट योर चिप्स क्वाइटली चिप मुंह में डालें उसके बाद खामोशी and that's it, okay? Vichara mu me reha ke vaisi thanda ho jata hai. So, let's take a start. Now we have table completion. And this is what we call table completion. One word only. Good news is questions and answers are in order. Can you see Rani ki vav here? Go back to the passage and underline Rani ki vav. Got it? I had a student from Southern India, Rajasthan. He said, I've been to these places. So, found Rani ki vav? Yes. Okay, Surya Kand. Okay, then Rani ji ki bauri. Then Chand bauri. Bauri means well. Hindi word. And Nimarna ki bauri. Nimarna ki bauri. Okay, so you guys can comment and tell me the meaning of Rani, Surya, Rani ji, Chand, and Nimarna. Right? I don't know about that. Got it? Okay, now listen, listen, listen. Don't be noisy. Don't talk to your neighbors, okay? Just look at me and try to understand that. You can always talk to your neighbors anytime. Can you please come to question number nine and find the word 2001? Let's read the question first. Excellent condition. Listen. Now, all these names are step wells. What are they? Step, step well. wells. So, question number nine, excellent condition. Uh, whose condition? Condition of step well. Excellent condition despite the dash of 2001. Now, listen. Something happened in 2001. We go back and we look for the word 2001. 2001. Second page of the passage. Third paragraph. In January 2001, found it? Yes. Okay. In January 2001, please make sure your neighbor knows that. In January 2001, this ancient structure survived an earthquake. So what happened in 2001? Earthquake. So what will be the answer? Very good. Despite the earthquake of 2001. So the answer is? And it's one word only, so you will write earthquake together. Copy paste it. That's it. The next question is quite confusing, but I would like to explain it very well to you guys. Surya Kand, 1026. Now look here, try to understand. If you don't understand the question, you will never find the answer. And at the end, I know you will do one thing. You will write any word and then go on. 
you know, it's Punjabi, we say, khasma nu khai. Yeah? So you'll just leave it there and you'll go on and all that, if you don't understand the question, right? And then you check your answer and you'll be surprised. Now listen, Surya Khan is a step well, 1026 is the date, steps. You know, these step wells, they have steps on all four sides. So, steps on the dash produce a geometrical pattern. Now listen, the clue word is geometrical pattern. Steps on the dash, now steps on where produce a geometrical pattern. Yeah, it's, it's going to be something. Steps on where produce a geometrical pattern. Which paragraph? It's the third paragraph on second page. Another example. And uh, can you see? Okay, I'm reading it from here. Everyone, please follow me. I'm going to read it from Hallmark. Found it? Everyone? Hallmark. Line number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The hallmarks of stepwell architecture. Found it? Including four sides of steps that descend to the bottom in a stunning geometrical formation. Four sides of steps. Four side of steps means steps on four sides. Try to understand. Four sides of steps means steps on four sides and they make geometrical pattern. What will be the answer? Four sides, absolutely. And now one mistake in this book. See that they have written one word and or a number. So four, they have mentioned in the passage as F-O-U-R-4. So you can write F-O-U-R-4 as well, but it's a good idea to write number in digits. So you can write 4 as 4 and then sides. Okay? And again, I would say locate it. Question number 4, answer is this. It is here when you go back home, when you relax, and then you can just do it. Okay, now let's go on. Question number 11. Looks more. Now, over here, we are going to break a rule. Yeah, you'll say, sir, you said that, huh? But anyways, looks more like a. Look here. Whenever they use the word look, for that, they use the word resembles, similar, and all that. So please come back to the same paragraph. Move on two to three lines. Can you see 1026? Yeah. Same paragraph. Now, just come a line below. It actually resembles. Found it? It actually resembles a tank. It actually resembles a tank. So looks like a tank. Now, you might argue this answer is a little before and after. This may happen. This is book number 10. But in other books, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I have seen answers are in order. In old books, they are not in order. But in new books, they are in order. So sometimes we can have anything. If you can't find it ahead, you can go back a little. Okay, a little only. All right, let's go on. Can you see there is no question about uh, Rani Ji Ki Bauri? So we will not read it. Now we will come to Chan Bauri. Please come to question number 12. Chan Bauri, they say old, deep, and very dramatic. Has dash which provide a view of the steps. Now listen, there is something that provides the view of steps. Like from somewhere, you can see the steps, right? It has dash that provides view of steps. Now please come to Chand Bauri. Found it? Okay. Chand Bauri is here. So please, third last paragraph of the passage. And I want you to come to this second last line. On the fourth side... Got it? Yes. On the fourth side, everyone found it? Okay, on the fourth side, this is third last paragraph, second last, third last line. On the fourth side, verandas, which are supported by ornate pillars, overlook the steps. Now, what overlooks the steps? Verandas. And by the way, one more thing. Just you can see verandas and then they have which. Verandas, which are supported by ornate pillars, right? And then they say, over. is there any comma here? Yes. Is there any comma after overlooked, after pillars? No, but there should be a comma. Overlook the steps. So the answer is veranda. Now you might argue, you can say uh, or, uh, ornate pillars is the answer. So they say verandas, which are supported by. Now verandas are supported by pillars. So basically it's not the pillar 
that can you, there you can see it's the veranda veranda has the pillars so the answer is verandas and they are plural uh, i mean the word is plural verandas no it's just like you know outside a place they have some uh, sort of ceiling with some pillars it's called verandas in urdu we call it baramda yeah 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 exactly exactly that's right is this clear and again i'm telling you focus each question yeah this is listen listen the confusing thing is you might think the answer is ornate pillars pillar is the part of veranda right now it's not the pillar from where you can see the steps you can see the steps from veranda let's read again F follow me now verandas which are supported by ornate pillars overlook the steps so what is what is overlooking the steps veranda not view what is overlooking the steps that's the veranda which overlooking what does it mean you stand at the veranda and you can see the steps that's very very simple okay all right let's go on question number 13 wow very very simple nimarna ki bauri has two dash levels two two is very good and listen listen for two they can use couple for two they can use uh, uh, couple of they can use pair of and all that has two dash levels now please go back 1700 found it second last paragraph okay i'm reading second last paragraph from third line constructed in around 1700 found it okay it is uh, it is nine story deep with the last two what does last two means last two stories with the last two being under water so two levels are <laughs> under water answer is under water and will you write it as one word or under water one word, one word under water okay got it good job now we have reading passage 2 and thank goodness we have list of headings how many of you have issues with list of headings very good how many of you have issues with true false not given how of you have how many of you have issues with the, which paragraph contains the following information uh, okay okay don't worry don't worry let's do it now listen whenever they give you list of headings this is type b question this is type b questions and answers are not in order and how many questions do we have here 14 to 21 how many questions eight questions mean you have to read all the passage for only eight questions you will have to read all the passage and this will take your quality time quality time and quality brain energy and everything will be wasted here so what are the next questions ha so it's a good idea to start from true false not given ha huh? or ha <laughs> yeah. okay let's start from true false not given ha huh? acha all right don't worry we'll do it don't worry ha huh? so it will come in the next test don't worry no problem it will come in the next test i tell you one thing once your reading and understanding is good you can do any type of questions it depends on your understanding right so doesn't matter don't worry yeah uh the study plan we give you it'll be there don't worry acha ji now let's go on true false not given in part 2 and part 3 uh it can it can be a little more complicated right in part 3 sentences can be long but method is same passage is in order so you can do it easily question number 22 the need for transport is growing need for transport is growing despite technological developments now look here we do have technological developments but still the need for transport is growing now if the need for transport is growing despite the technological development answer is true if the need for transport is not growing because of technological developments 
Answer is false. And if they don't tell us whether the need is increasing or decreasing after technology, answer is not given. Now, the word technology and need for transport, please come to first paragraph. First paragraph, second line, although modern information technology, that was our clue word, found it? Yes. So please be with me. Although modern information technologies can reduce the demand for physical transport by facilitating networking and teleservices, the requirement for transport continues to increase. The requirement for transport continues to increase and they said uh, with technology we have got teleworking teleservices teleservices means over telephone they solve your problem right the need for transport continues to increase what is the word for continues to increase growing, growing. growing. got it and what is the word for technological developments teleservicing teleworking tele yes exactly that is technological development so the answer is true, true. Question number 23, to reduce production cost, underline production cost. To reduce production cost, some industries have been moved closer to their relevant consumers. Come here, come here, look here. To reduce, uh, uh, to reduce uh, reduction, uh, reduce production cost, some companies have come closer to their consumer. If consumers are in Pakistan, Companies have come to Pakistan. If, if a consumer is in India, companies have come to India to reduce their production cost. Now, if they have come closer to their consumer to reduce their production cost, answer is true. If companies have gone far from their consumers, like they have gone to China because their production cost is low, right? Away from their consumers, so the answer is fall. And if they don't tell us whether the companies have come closer or they have gone far from their consumers, answer is not given. As I said, questions and answers are in order. Please come to B paragraph. Okay, please come to second last line to reduce production costs. Paragraph B, yes. second last line or third last line to reduce production cost. Found it? Yes. Everyone? Yes. Good. So I read it from here. To reduce production costs, even though the production site is hundreds or even thousands of kilometers away from the final assembly plant or away from users. See that? To reduce production cost, even though the production site is hundreds or even thousands of kilometers away from the final assembly plant or away from users. So to reduce the production cost, companies have gone far from their consumers. And in this line, they say to reduce production cost, some industries have been moved closer. No, they have not been moved closer. They have been moved far from them. Answer is false. Question number 24, please come to that. Cars are prohibitively expensive in some EU candidate companies. Look here, look here. The clue word is EU candidate company, uh, countries. And the word is car. Now listen. If cars are prohibitively expensive, means extremely expensive. If cars are extremely expensive in EU candidate countries, like, you know, Turkey. Turkey is EU candidate country, wants to enter European Union, right? So European Union, So, but it's not the part of it. So if cars are expensive in EU candidate countries, answer is true. If cars are cheap, Economical in EU candidate countries, answer is false. And if they don't tell us whether cars are cheap or cars are expensive, answer is? Now look for EU candidate countries. Paragraph C. Very good. I'm reading it from here. The strong, I'm reading paragraph C. Everyone, please follow me. The strong economic growth expected in countries which are candidate for entry to EU will also increase transport flow. In particular, road haulage traffic in 1998, some of these countries already exported more than twice their 1990 volume and imported more than five times their 1990 volume. And although many candidate countries inherited a transport system which encourages rail, the distribution between modes, hair stripped and all that. Have they mentioned cars are prohibitively expensive in EU 
countries? Answer is not given. Very good. Okay, let's go on. Question number 25. Gothenburg European Council. What's the clue word? Gothenburg European Council. But let's read the question first. Gothenburg European Council was set up 30 years ago. Now look here. If it was set up 30 years ago, answer is? If less than 30 years, more than 30 years, answer is? And if they don't tell us, then... Yeah, only 30 years will decide the answer. So please come. Which paragraph? Very good. Paragraph D. Right? There they mention this thing. However, the new imperative, where is that word? Gothenburg. Yeah. In the uh, paragraph D, second line. This objective agreed by the Gothenburg European Council has to be achieved by integrating. Okay, I'm looking for number. Please come to third last line. The ambitious objective. Found it? Okay, the ambitious objective can only be fully achieved by 2020, but proposed measures are nonetheless a first essential step towards a sustainable transport system, which will ideally be in place in 30 years' time. Listen, listen. That transport system will be in place in 30 years' time. Now, they did not say anything about Gothenburg European Council that it was made 30 years ago or 30 years after. They did not say. They only said this thing, that sustainable transport system, which will ideally be, place, be in place 30 years time. So what's the question? Gothenburg European Council was set up 30 years ago? Not given. Because they did not say anything about Gothenburg European Council. When was it set up? 30 years ago or less than that, okay? All right, let's go on. Again, I'm saying when you go back home, you got to fight with it. When you do it alone, individually, then you will learn IELTS reading. Now we have so many interruptions and distractions, but then you'll be fine, okay? All right, let's go on. Question number 26. By the end of this decade, CO2 emission from the transport are predicted to reach 739 billion tons. Now listen. By the end of this decade, whatever decade they talk about, if the CO2, what is CO2? Carbon dioxide emission from transport. Now listen, if carbon dioxide from transport is going to reach 739 billion, it's true. If all carbon dioxide, including transport and factories, is going to reach 739 billion, answer is false. And if they don't tell us, right, then it is not given. Now let's look for 739 billion. Good. See, this is scanning. Paragraph E and second line. E for elephant, yeah? Okay, I'm reading paragraph E from second line. According to the latest estimates, if nothing is done to, re to reverse the traffic growth trend, CO2 emission from transport can be expected to increase by around 50% and 1,113 billion tons by 2020. Right? Compared with the 739 billion tons recorded in 1990. Now, last decade, 1990, they said 739 billion, 1990. Okay, now let's go on. Once again, let's read on. Once again, road transport is the main culprit since it alone accounts for 84% of CO2 emission. Yes, un until you reach this point, you will think it's true. But sometimes you have to read the next line as well. I repeat this one, please. Everyone, please come to question. By the end of this decade, CO2 emissions from transport are predicted to reach 739. Okay, now come back. Paragraph E, and I'm going to read it from fourth last line. One, two, three, four. Uh, fifth last line, okay, let's make it from there. Be expected to increase by around 50% to 1,113 billion tons by 2020. Compared with the 739 billion tons recorded in 1990, once again, road transport is the main culprit since it alone accounts for 84%. Now listen, Road transport accounts for 84% of 739 billion. Understand the point? 
they said 84%. So when they say by the end of this decade, CO2 emission from transport are predicted to reach 739, no. Road transport is 84%. So 84% of 739 is not 739. That is why answer is false. Very technical, huh? Okay, guys, now we have list of headings. So please be attentive. First, there is Bhashan, and then we will go through it practically. Whenever we have list of headings, remember, you have to skim read the paragraph. What do you have to do? Skim read the paragraph. Now, what is skim reading? You read the first line. You read somewhere in the middle. You read the last line so that you understand what is the gist of the paragraph. Important point, whenever they give you a list of headings, those headings are the main ideas of the paragraphs in the passage. So whenever there is a heading, that heading contains some information. Sometimes that information is only one part or one line of the paragraph. So you got to locate that. Uh, there are three important parts in the paragraph. Part one is the first line. Usually, if you find list of headings in IELTS reading part one, most of the answers you will find in first two lines. If it is in part two, so you may find answer in first line, second line, somewhere in the middle or at the end. Uh, you need to see another thing as well. Some paragraphs in the passage, they start with the topic sentence. So if the paragraph starts with the topic sentence, then you will find the answer in the first line. Some paragraphs are narrative. They explain and then at the end, they draw a conclusion. So if the paragraph is narrative like this, then you will have to find the answer at the end. And some paragraphs start with a general idea and in the middle, they come to the specific idea. So you got to do that. For list of headings, I would advise you all to read the headings and interpret them. Interpreting the heading is very, very important. Now I tell you how to interpret. Interpret means when you read a heading, you categorize the information that if I find this information, answer is going to be there and all that. So let's just do it. Uh, I'm on list of headings. Please come to list of headings. Uh, we know European transport system. The whole passage is about European transport system 1990 to 2010. And what's the subtitle? What have been the trends and what are the prospects for European transport system? What have been the trends past? And what are the prospects? Future. Future, absolutely. List of headings. Now, I'm going to tell you how to read and interpret the headings. And by the way, <coughs> they will always give you extra headings. If there are five questions, they will give you eight headings. If there are four questions, they will give you seven headings. If there are six questions, they will give you nine or 10 headings. Those extra headings are very dangerous. Why? Because you can think I can put this heading anywhere. These headings are like this, that you can put them anywhere. But anyways, let's see. Uh, for list of headings, when you write your answer, you must use Roman number. Okay? Don't use English number, but Roman number. Heading number one. Fresh and important long-term goal. Look here. Fresh and important long-term goal means 30 years plan, 40 years plan. And you have already done true, false, not given. Can you tell me where is that 30 years plan? Absolutely. That is in paragraph D. D, D for doctor in 30 years. See that? So this is how you can easily find the answer. But anyways, if you are familiar, uh, I advise you whenever you are doing list of headings, never start that part, reading part, part one, two, three, never start that part with list of headings. It will eat all your time, right? So start with other questions and do it at the end. Then you'll be familiar. Question number two. Charging for roads and improving other transport methods. A paragraph where they will talk about road tax and other transport methods like railways, buses, and all that. Heading number three, changes affecting the distance goods may be transported. Now, by the way, if you still remember, we were talking about consumers and factories are going far from them, right, to reduce the production cost. So this is changes affecting the distances goods may be transported. Yeah, that is actually that, uh, paragraph B, okay? Because we've done it already, so we know. Heading number three, uh, heading number four, sorry. 
taking all the steps necessary to change transport pattern now listen in one paragraph they will talk about in order to change transport pattern number one we can do this number two we can do that number three we can do that so taking all the steps necessary heading number five environmental costs of road transport now if you know there's a paragraph that they talked about carbon dioxide and emission and all that which paragraph is that e and you know it already and see that true false not given is so good that after doing that we know some of the answers already heading number six escalating cost of rail transport a complete paragraph about rail transport and increasing cost of rail transport heading number seven we will not read it you know why because paragraph F and heading number 7, they have used as an example. So the first thing is cross heading number 7. Right? And paragraph F. It's not that you read paragraph F and then you come back and say heading number 7, but it's already there. So paragraph F and heading number 7 will not read. Heading number 8. Yes. Okay, listen. They have used one heading as an example. That is... Paragraph F, heading number 7. One heading will be used once only. So heading number 7 they have used already. We cannot use it again. That is why from the list we are crossing it so that we don't use it by mistake. Yes. Heading number 8, rapid growth of private transport. Listen, whenever they use the word private transport, they mean cars. Every time, every time they use the word. Okay. Heading number nine, plans to develop major road networks. In one paragraph, they will talk about the plans to develop major road networks. Heading number 10, restricting road use through charging policies. Restricting road use through charging policies means they will charge you and then people will, for example, let's say if you enter the main Lahore city, uh, downtown, you have to pay 200 rupees per car. So then people will avo avoid going there by car. Heading number 11, Transport trends in countries awaiting EU admission. You know that already. Candidate countries. EU admission, candidate countries. So that is heading number 11. Okay. Now, please come to paragraph A. <clears throat> paragraph A, we read it already when we solved question number 22. So, uh, listen now. This reading is called skim reading. And you will do skim reading with pencil. Because, you know, uh, whenever you read, and by the way, throughout your IELTS exam, when you read, you have to point out the pencil. When you do it, you read very, very fast. For example, one thing you are reading like this. And other thing, you are moving the pencil like this. When you move the pencil, your eyes will follow the speed of pencil. And notice one thing, read without pencil. And then read while moving the pencil, you will see your speed will be doubled. Okay, so please come. Paragraph A, it is difficult to conceive a vigorous economic growth without an efficient transport system. Okay, now please come to next line. All the modern information technology, we read about it. Please come to fourth line. There are two key factors uh, behind the trend for passenger transport. The uh, determining factor is the spectacular growth in the car use. The number of cars. Now, first they said spectacular growth in car use and then they are talking about number of cars what is car private transport heading number eight and what is that rapid growth for rapid growth they use the word spectacular growth private transport they use the word car so heading number eight is the right answer for question number 14 and how will you write eight v i i i all right Good. Now, let's go on. Paragraph B. As far as goods transport, and you know we have one heading about goods transport. As far as goods transport is concerned, growth is due to large extent changes in European economy. Please come to next line. EU has moved from a stock economy to a flow economy. Okay. This phenomenon, I'm reading fourth line, paragraph B. This phenomenon has been emphasized by the relocation of some industries, particularly those which are labor intense to reduce production costs, even though the production site is hundreds or even thousands of kilometers away from the final assembly plant or away from users. Which heading? Heading number three. What is that? 
changes affecting the distance goods may be transported changes affecting the distances now to reduce the cost that is the change they are they are moving away for example most of the products are now built uh, or made in china and then they are transported to that country okay so for qu question number 15 heading number 3 is the right answer please come to question number 16 paragraph c very simple first line will give you the answer the strong economic growth expected in countries which are candidates to entry to European Union. Strong economy gro economic growth candidates. 11. Well done. Transport trends in countries awaiting EU admission. For awaiting EU admission, what have they used? EU candidate countries. Okay, so for paragraph C, question number 16. Correct answer is heading number? 11 and how will you write x i all right let's go on now we've got d can you see d and last line mentions there 30 years time that is by 2040 it means this article was written in 2010 right so 30 years means long term goal which heading yes fresh and important long term goal that is heading number one. So for question number 17, heading number one. Yeh le, note kar le, at home you can practice it further. All right. Please come to paragraph E. Can you see carbon dioxide? Yeah, environmental cost. Carbon dioxide and environmental cost, that's the same thing. So which heading? Exactly. Heading number? Five, environmental cost of road transport. And by the way, you know, why are we doing it so comfortably? Because we have already done true, false, not given. So if you start with list of headings, you will never ever be this much comfortable. You have to do it at the end, right? Yeah, because type B questions, where questions and answers are not in order, must be attempted at the end, okay? All right, let's go on. Next we have... F will not do. Why not? Because they used it in example. Now, please come to G. The first approach would consist on focusing on... When they say first approach, second approach, third approach, last approach, what does that mean? They've got a variety of ways, right? So let's go on through pricing. And if you just come to this line, in the short term, it might... I'm reading paragraph G, please. And it's the third line. In the short term, it might curb the growth in road transport through the better loading ratio of good vehicles and occupancy rate of passenger vehicles. Now, read this carefully. Expected as a result of the increase in the price of transport. So, go back. Option two. Option six is escalating cost. All right, all right. Please, let's read it again. Come to, first, uh, come to the first line of this paragraph. Uh, the first approach would consist of focusing on road transport solely through pricing. Now, road transport through pricing, what does that mean? Charging, exactly. Road transport through charging. Which heading is that? Ten. Two is charging for roads. Now, listen. Yes, one more thing. Whenever a heading contains and, and there are two phrases, and, and, two phrases, what happens? One phrase will match, but second phrase will not match. I've seen it in some other tests also. So usually that is the wrong answer. Now you guys are saying two. Okay, charging for roads and improving other transport methods. Other transport methods are not mentioned. Yeah, so this is not the right answer. The right answer is heading number yeah. 10, restricting road use through charging policies alone. Now, please come back. What is the word for charging policies alone? They said solely, solely through pricing. Pricing means charging policy. Solely means only. So for G, question number 19, correct answer is heading number 
10. And you will write it like X. Okay, let's go on. Please come to paragraph H. The second approach has con uh, concent uh, ha also concentrates on road transport pricing, but it accompanied by measuring to increase the efficiency of other modes. Now we are here, okay? Road pricing and other modes. So that heading will go here. All clear? Whenever there is and, and then there is complete other phrase, so you have to check both. So for paragraph H, the correct answer is heading number two, charging for roads and improving other transport methods. What, what have they used for other transport methods? Other modes, yes, that's right. Okay, next we have paragraph I. The third approach, which is not new, comprises a series of measures. Focus this. Series of measures ranging from pricing to revitalizing alternative modes. Now focus series of measures. Yeah, for series of measures, they said taking all the steps necessary. Steps and measures, they are same. Taking all the steps necessary, so heading number four, for question number 21, paragraph I. Clear? All right. Shadi yogi theek hai ab hansi hamko ab nahi aati, ro nahi aate. Achcha ji. Now, multiple choice questions. Inshallah, I'll give you very good tips for multiple choice questions as well. All right, look, I said, Yasin said, that it's not a good thing to be able to clean the liquid. I said, what's going on? What's the liquid? What's going on? It's going to be clean the liquid. It's got these crazy ideas, huh? Anyways, yes. Now, topic, psychology of innovation. Innovation means creativity. Creating new things. So, psychology of innovation. And by the way, once you start taking interest in IELTS reading, you will learn a lot. These passages are full of information which you need, right? So psychology of innovation. Why are so few companies truly innovative? You have seen just few companies are innovative and other companies, they are not innovative. So why are so few companies innovative? Psychology of innovation. Questions 27 to 30. Multiple choice questions. Type A or type B? Type A. Questions and answers are in order. Number one. Number two, uh, you just have to read the question and go to the passage. Find the answer to that question, which will be given in one sentence in the passage. And then you come back to the passage and you have to match that sentence of the passage with one of the options, A, B, C, or D. Okay, now let's go on. Question number 27, example of the million dollar quartet, underline million dollar quartet. Quartet means where there are four people, four things. Quartet and quintet, quintet means five people. This is from Spanish, cuatro and quartet. From French, I think. Example of million dollar quartet underlines the writer's point about. Now, we will find million dollar quartet because it is in inverted commas. And then we will see what is it that it underlines about writer's point. So let's go back. Excellent, third paragraph. And we have this million dollar quartet there. So please follow me. I'm reading it. Third paragraph and everyone found it? Sun's million dollar quartet. Okay, now let's read it together. Sun's million dollar quartet could have been a quintet. Quintet means five people. Okay, now just read it carefully with me. And imagine, uh, million dollar quartet means four people and they made million dollar and all that. It could be a quintet. Quintet means they could add fifth person as well. Quartet, but they, it could be quintet. Missing from the picture is Roy Orbison, a greatest natural singer than Lewis, Perkins, or Cash. Sam Phillips, after full stop, Sam Phillips, who owned Sun, Sun is that company. They said Sun's million dollar quartet. So Sam Phillips, 
who owned son wanted to revolutionize popular music with songs that fused black and white music and country and blues now read this carefully uh, presley cash perkins and lewis how many people four presley cash perkin and lewis instinctively understood philip's ambition philip is that company's owner philip's ambition and believed in it now look here they understood philip's ambition and believed in it means four people believed in one thing they understood one thing and they believed in one thing now please come back option a recognizing talent no cross it at the end put a little cross option b working as a team no option d d for doctor being an effective leader not at all some options are no some options are not at all option c having a shared objective when they say believed in it understood his ambition and believed in it that means having a shared objective so correct answer 27 option c let's go on question number 28 please follow me here james watson suggests that he and francis crick clue word is francis crick and james watson he and francis crick won the race to discover the dna code because look here because means reason why did james watson and francis crick win the race to discover the dna code what is the reason now let's go back as i said questions and answers are in order exactly you find it on second page so we've got watson and all that okay i'm reading it from here to prove his point found it to prove his point yes sir okay i'm reading from here to prove his point sledney cites an interview with molecular biologist james watson found it so we have to find the reason like they they uh, broke or they cracked the codes a uh, code of dna what is the reason i'm reading from here with molecular biologist james watson watson together with francis crick discovered the structure of dna the genetic information carrier of all living organisms when asked now it is important when asked how they had cracked the code ahead of any array of highly accomplished rival investigators he said now this is the reason see what is the question when asked how how means question why or how he did that and then he uh, he said he said means reason he said something that stunned me now what he said he said he and crick he means both, both. he means what is the name of other person watson he and crick had succeeded because they were aware that they weren't the most intelligent of the scientists look here when you are aware that you are not the most intelligent person it means you know your limitations when i know i am not the most intelligent i'll trainer i mean it means i know my limitations please come back option a were conscious of their own limitations now let's read option b brought co brought complementary skills to their partnership ha ah, you know sometimes ah, never option c were determined to outperform their brighter rivals no not at all option d encouraged each other to realize their joint ambition never so correct answer is a very good c for multiple choice whether it is listening or reading elimination is the best technique elimination means this is not the right answer question number 29 writer mentions competitions on breakfast cereal packets now clue word breakfast cereal packets so writer mentions competitions on breakfast cereal packets as an example of how to breakfast cereal packets and they had a competition of that so as an example of how to now please come back look for breakfast cereals second page all right uh, last paragraph on left side got it second page last paragraph on left side and they use the word competition on breakfast cereals got it 
I'm read, reading it from second last line. So please follow me. Uh, second page of the passage, left column, last paragraph, second last line. It is, he says the reason why. Got it? Okay, now please follow me. It is, he says, the reason why all those competitions on breakfast cereal packets encouraged us to write in saying, in no more than 10 words, I like Kellogg's cornflakes because. Now, what did they do? They asked the participants or people to write, right? R to, uh, uh, packets encouraged us to write in saying in no more than 10 words, I like Kellogg cornflakes because. The very act of writing, very act of writing means, you know, the people say, write your goals. Motivational speakers, they say, write your goals down and all that. The very act of writing makes us more likely to believe it. When we write our goals, we believe them. Now, let's find an option which matches with this. Option A. Okay, the writer mentions competitions on breakfast cereal packets as an example of how to. Option A, inspire creative thinking. No. Option B, generate concise writing. Concise writing means how to write short sentences. Option C, promote loyalty to a group. No. Option D, strengthen commitment to an idea. When you write it, it strengthens your commitment to an idea. So for that, they said the very act of writing makes us more likely to believe it. It strengthens our commitment. Okay. Question number 30. In the last paragraph, the writer suggests that it is important for employees to. Something is important for employees. Last paragraph. Right? The writer suggests that it is important for employees to. Now, please come to last paragraph. Okay, I'm reading it from one, two, three, fourth line. Seladini says, found it? Okay. Leaders should encourage everyone to contribute and simultaneously assure all concerned that every recommendation is important to making the right decision and will be given full attention. Okay, let's read it from the beginning also. The same paragraph. Many theories believe the ideal boss should lead from behind, taking pride in collective accomplishment and giving credit where it is due. And then leaders should encourage everyone to contribute and all that. Now, please come back. In the last paragraph, the writer suggests that it is important for employees to option A, be aware of their company's goals. No. Option B, feel that their contributions are valued. Yes. Option C, have respect for their co-workers' achievements. Not at all. Option D, understand why certain management decisions are made. Never. Some options are not at all. Never. Not possible. So correct answer is option B. B. Abhi 31 to 35. Isko kehte hai sentence completion. Ye karte hai. Okay guys. Now we go on. We have IELTS reading part 3. Questions 31 to 35. Even if you are in a difficult situation, smile, laugh, enjoy. Okay, don't worry. Yeah. Kuch log aaj ko dekke muh bana lete Don't worry. Now. This is what we call sentence completion with a box. They will give you a box and you have to complete the sentence. Half sentence is given in the questions. Second half sentence is given in the options and options are more than questions. Now, by the way, tell me, are the questions and answers in order? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Questions and answers are in order. All right? So don't worry about it. Okay. Now, you will not read the options. First of all, you will read the question. After reading the question, you will go back to the passage. Find the place where there is the answer. You will find the second sentence. Half sentence is given. Half sentence will take you to the part of the passage where there is the answer. Then from there, you will find the second half. And then you will match it with A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Kitna asana hai, hai? Ghar ja ke kar Question number 31. Employees whose value 
मैच दोज ऑफ देयर इंप्लॉयर्स आर मोर लाइकली टू नाउ इंप्लॉयज देयर वैल्यूज मैच विद देयर इंप्लॉयर लाइक दे हैव द सेम वैल्यूज राइट दे आर मोर लाइकली टू डैश प्लीज कम बैक इंप्लॉयज एंड इंप्लॉयर नो इंप्लॉयज एंड इंप्लॉयर प्लीज कम टू सेकेंड पैराग्राफ फिफ्थ लाइन फर्स्ट पेज सेकेंड पैराग्राफ फिफ्थ लाइन रिसर्च शोज कार इट okay research shows that the fit between an employee's values see that the clue word okay research shows that the fit between an employee's values and a company's values makes a difference to what contribution they make and whether 2 years after they join they are still at the company look here 2 years after they join they are still at the company find for find something for that 2 years after they join they are still at the company right 2 years after they join they are still at the same company remain in their jobs right 2 uh, years after they join and they are remain in their jobs so option g is the right answer for question number 31 now please cross g जी के ऊपर छोटा सा क्रॉस लगा दें विल नॉट यूज इट अगेन इट विल बी यूज ओनली वंस क्लियर नाउ यस दैट इज व्हाट वी कॉल मैचिंग दैट इज इन ऑर्डर नो क्वेश्चंस आर नॉट इन ऑर्डर बट द नेम्स ऑफ साइंटिस्ट्स आर इन ऑर्डर ओके नाउ लेट्स गो ऑन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू एट टाइम्स ऑफ चेंज वट्स द क्लू वर्ल्ड चेंज at times of change people tend to what is it that people do at times of change i said questions and answers are in order so please look for the word change well done T title page 1 2 3 fourth fourth paragraph the value of fit matters got it okay now the value of fit matters says seladini because innovation is in part a process of change clue word has come now when time changes what do the people do let's read on in part a process of change and under that pressure we as a species have different behavior when things change get ready answer is coming when things change we are hard wired to play it safe look here when we play it safe we avoid risks well done go back absolutely avoid risk so what is the word avoid risk and play it safe now cross e also will not use it second time question number 33 if people are aware of what they might lose they will often look here if people are aware what they might lose they will often same paragraph okay please come back all right i'm reading the same paragraph from third last line studies show that found it yes. studies show that we invariably take more gambles when threatened with a loss take more gambles find the synonym of that take more gambles take chances option a take more gambles and that means we take chances cross a also for 33 correct answer is A. Question number thirty-four. People working under a dominant boss are liable to. If the boss is dominant, oh, की कर रहे हैं? Something like that. Okay. So if people are, uh, if people working under dominant boss, they are liable to do something. Boss. Look for the word boss. Liable boss. Third last paragraph. authority doesn't have to inhibit innovation found it yes. third last paragraph of the passage authority doesn't have to inhibit innovation but it often does the working kind of leadership will lead to what celarini calls kept uh, captainistis the regrettable tendency of team members now of team now let's go on he says here the regrettable tendency of team members A authority means the boss is authoritative to team mem of team members to opt out of team responsibilities that are properly theirs so what do they do they opt out of team responsibilities that are properly theirs 
ignore their duties well done okay so for ignore their duties they use the word tendency of team members to opt out of team responsibilities opt out of team responsibilities that means ignore their duties so f is gone question number 35 employees working in organizations with few rules are more likely to employees with uh, working with few rules what are they more likely to do second. rule second last paragraph now please follow me i'm reading second last paragraph from the beginning second last paragraph from the beginning at the uh, on the uh, at the other end of the scale is the 1980s memphis design collective a group of young designers for home the only rule now be alert the only rule was that there were no rules this environment encouraged a free interchange of ideas which led to more creative with uh, with form function color and materials that revolutionized ideas to furniture design so absolutely option b share their ideas and what is the word for share their ideas exactly they said free interchange of ideas interchange of ideas means share ideas right so for question number 31 answer is g 32 e 33 34 35 b that's great thank you